Everyone Counts is a company that is transforming the $31 billion elections industry from manual error-prone paper processes to a software model so you can vote on your tablets or your mobile devices from anywhere in the world. So that means we're digitizing elections. Warwick's is the oldest family-owned and operated bookstore in the United States. My great-grandfather started it in 1896, and he relocated to La Jolla with the store in the 1930s. My parents really grew the store. They worked as a team, but they also had a fun time. Uh, my dad, in particular, is kind of a quirky person and enjoy quirky people, which we tend to attract at bookstores. Monarch is a K through 12 school for homeless youth, which means our students are living on the street, they're living in their car, they're living in downtown shelters. The work that Monarch's doing is we're serving a homeless population that many in San Diego don't see. I grew up in a little town in Ohio where my mom said to me I could do anything. I'm pretty sure she meant I could manage the grocery store down the street, but she didn't say that, she said anything. My father passed about eight years ago. They never put pressure on my sister or myself to take over the business. There wasn't an expectation that, of course, this is what we needed to do or should do. And in fact, my dad always emphasized, you have to do something that you feel passionate about. So as I began to explore my career, I did things that sounded like they would matter. Before I'd heard of Monarch, I didn't even realize that there were homeless students living in our community. This isn't a role that I ever thought that I would be in, and here I am. And I was regularly told I didn't have the qualifications, I didn't have the experience, I didn't know what I was doing, but I didn't care. You don't have to go to a business school. I actually never have taken a business course before. I'm not just here to run a business, but I, I feel a sense of commitment to the community. It occurred to me that nobody's born with a CEO card in their pocket, so if you have the commitment, you have the will, and you have the desire, you can accomplish anything. So I just kept trying, and tenacity, it turns out, is one of the most important things for success. I started at Monarch uh, in 2002 as a volunteer, um, and I was immediately hooked. There's very few places like this, and the bookstore is really kind of an endangered species. It's always been much more than a business, and I believe it was the same for my parents. To me, it almost feels like a member of my family. In my past life, I was an investment manager, and it occurred to me that all of these great technology companies were transforming industries, and the most important business process in the world was being left behind and that's voting. San Diego has almost 22,000 homeless kids in our region, and learning more about what they're going through, um, I was so compelled to understand the problem more, figure out how I could help, um, and ultimately after building those one-on-one -on -one relationships with students, I really wanted to get more involved. So if we actually make voting work, that a lot of people can do some really important things in the world because they believe in themselves for one moment. Our students are so resilient and so inspiring and what they do to get where they need to get to and accomplish what they need to accomplish is just extraordinary. And so I care deeply about the influence that we can have on student learning here that will put them on a better path that doesn't lead to them being homeless adults. I'm saying without a doubt taking risk is critical. It's critical in life every day and it's critical in a path towards success career-wise. When I entered Monarch in the role of CEO was a big role, a big opportunity. I think that the reality of success is there would be no success if there weren't failure. And failure is a lesson. Failure teaches you what to do better. Oh gosh, I experienced constant failure and, and honestly still do every day. I absolutely find it fulfilling every day. I also find it really challenging and heartbreaking. So there's days where it's really discouraging. It's really interesting to think about oneself in the context of success. I regularly think about what I haven't accomplished. To this day, it's really important to me to do things that, you know, make my mother proud and honor my father's memory. And I try to make decisions that he would be really pleased with. And that's not to say that I don't make mistakes, we all do, and I've made plenty of them. I know there's so much more work that we need to do and so many more problems that we need to solve. What I learned from all of those challenges and sometimes failures is to rely more on 
the team of people that I have here. So as hard as we try and as tough as it is, um, we still show up the next day to try again. Um, and so that's really amazing to be part of that group of individuals. You don't really know true joy if you haven't experienced sadness. Same thing with success and failure. You don't have success if there isn't a risk to be taken. And when you take risks, sometimes it doesn't work. And those are the things, those are the lessons that can take you to the next level. And so we have had amazing successes and I think about those stories and the moments where I thought we weren't gonna make it. Um, and then that we were eventually able to get there. If you want to leave your mark, you need to love what you're doing. Treat it as not just a business, but it's an extension of yourself. I'm proud of what this team has accomplished. I'm proud of what this company is doing, and I will keep working hard every day to make that a success. I feel that I'm successful by still being motivated to try different things, try new things, keep trying harder until we truly solve this problem.